So I'm gonna try and transform the air. <laughs> no one else has done that before, right? Actually, I'm going to build a massive ocean on top of this island with a new custom water dragon, builds and decorations, and I'm gonna get rid of this ender farm here and build one inside the actual ocean. Man, I am in for one big project. So out of many, first comes step number one. The shape of the island is a bit hard to work with at the moment, so I need to get to some terraforming. Okay, I've tidied up that corner, this corner here, there was a huge chunk right here that I got rid of as well. But for this crazy area here, like, what is this? I'm gonna gather hopefully all the materials I need and build a TNT flying machine. Which I'm not going to try and explain because I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's destroying a nice little layer there, but let's see if this works. Yes, it does! It just sends it straight back. Now I'm just like every other hardcore YouTuber, I've built a flying TNT machine. <laughs> activate one and activate the other. Well, that's fascinating. Now, this obviously looks pretty terrible, but I'm gonna need to fix that up later because first, I need to build a massive glass border around the whole island so that I know what this edge here is gonna look like. Then I can actually fix it. And this glass border, by the way, is going to be 64 blocks tall. So the amount of sand I need... Uh... Okay, before we actually build the ocean, I'm gonna need a way to swim around in the water faster. So I'm gonna try and get a trident. Ow! Oh, okay. Finally. Wow. And what do, what do I call this thing? Okay, totally did not take an hour and 50 levels to achieve the flying fork, but here we are. We can now... Wait, you can fly around with one of these things in the rain, right? Is there any way to like force it to rain in Minecraft? So I've got all these boxes just for sand. Now to upgrade my other shovel and recruit these allays that I found last episode. And finally, let's collect some sand. Six shocker boxes to cook. This should take a good little while. <laughs> In the meantime, I need to make a flower dye generator so that I can make orange dye so that I can color all my glass orange because I'm orange. All right, we've got six full shulker boxes of orange glass. Let's see how a whole stack goes. So every single one of these blocks that we're looking at right now is going to have to have a stack of glass on top of it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is one way to get motion sick real quick and develop shoulder pain, actually. Wouldn't be an easy video if I didn't just fall to the ground like an idiot. Over and over again. This is not the best sign. It's only been a few hours into the build and I'm already going insane. Okay, this is gonna take way too long, so how about I just uh, give you guys one of these? Never mind, I've used all the shulker boxes thinking I was going to get to maybe halfway, but this is not halfway. Okay, now we're at about halfway. However, it's back to filling these up again. I was in another world just then, and I almost broke my number one shovel. Oh my days. <laughs> and this is it. I've circled all the way back. There is one more pillar to do. Oh. 
yes, this does look incredible, and I'm still kind of in shock. However, I've also been working on it for like three days, so let's just uh, swiftly move on to the next step. After I build this dome here so the portal doesn't get messed with. The next step is to fill up this whole thing with water. First, I need to grab all the spare blocks I have, which uh, this is probably not going to be enough. Then make a layer on here, one block down, all the way across. This build is going to be the end of me. <laughs> And done. Wow. Now to just make a line of blocks all the way across and then put water on all of them. And because they are infinite water sources, they should spread to pretty much everywhere on here. There's a few corners that need to be fixed up like so. And now to break all the dirt blocks. Alright, so this is full of water and it looks, frankly, pretty amazing. However, not all the water blocks in here are source blocks, it's just the top layer up there. And so all I have to do now is grab absolute stacks of kelp. And then place that kelp in that same diagonal line. Alright, here, you know what? Here's a whole bunch of soul sand. I'm gonna lay it all down next to all this kelp here, like so... And then after this transition, we should have a full wall of bubbles because I've already done all the kelp. So I think, yeah, the transition's already happened. Okay, dude. Oh my, okay. Woo! Get away from me, dude. Get away. Oh my goodness. Will you relax? Ooh. I'm gonna take that as a sign that I need to be doing maybe something more fun rather than just keep placing and breaking blocks. So I think I'm gonna start building stuff in the water, but first we actually need some conduits so that we can breathe in there with no problems. I think right now we'll put one here in the middle. How far does this thing reach? All the way over here. Am I good? I'm good still, what the? Anyway building. I want to make these obsidian pillars a bit more eye-catching, and for that I need quite a bit of gold. Okay, at least my farm has plenty. I need this to trade with piglins for obsidian. All right, follow. Okay, dude. Yep. Okay, now I'm on fire. Yep. Great. I need to recruit you. Come here. Real quick. And with those trades, we have a stack and a half, and a stack of obsidian. Uh... It could be, it could be worse. It could be worse. And now the part where we bring it to life. Using glass and lava, we make these cool looking lava things. And we do that for all of them. And what do you know? I'm out of crying obsidian already. <laughs> And boom, we've spiced up the obsidian pillars and they look pretty cool. And we're not done with them. I'll be adding some stuff to the bottom, but first I need to figure out how much space I have on the floor, which means we need to move on to other builds. Something like a Mars base type of thing, a tiny ocean monument, something ginormous later. Anyway, for the Mars base, I'm gonna try using white concrete, a little bit of gray concrete, and I'll figure the rest out later on. Dude, this is starting to- Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure why I drained it in the first place. I guess maybe it's not all infinite water sources in this ocean. Maybe I'm a fraud. FBI, open up! This is looking pretty cool though. I cannot wait to just build everything else in this ocean. Alright, and that's what we have so far. So this is like supposed to be like a decompression chamber. Ha! <laughs> I know how space works. We've got a couple of domes and like a little square room as well. And I don't know, maybe that's where people sleep. I don't know. Enjoy that while you can, Enderman. Because you will be gone soon. It's like an infestation. It's gross.
Okay, so everything should be decorated. Now, this is obviously the living quarters, I guess you could say, with their spacesuits. That is actually just iron armor. We've got a few too many storage solutions down here, including shulker boxes. Yes, I'm giving up shulker boxes for this build that we're probably not even going to see. We've got a little farming situation around here. If I travel through to this one right here, this is like a little computer room with some made up language of sorts. Now, these people that are supposed to live here actually don't anymore. So, uh, all right from a distance here we are we've got the pillars so far and the ruined space okay well i can't see it anymore as you can see there's several like little wreckages with debris hanging out water going everywhere all the endermen are gone so this is where someone used to live i still don't know who but that's the kind of story i came up with next piece of the puzzle we're gonna go over here and we're gonna build an ocean minument Mi yeah, because it's small. It's going to be smaller than a... Um Okay, now for that, we're obviously going to need some prismarine and some prismarine bricks, and I'm kind of out of prismarine stuff. Good thing I have a farm for that. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go one, two, three. There's a gap here of one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then those are the two sides going back that way. And I think we're, we're going to have to extend this forward a little bit. That's too short. And all right. Now we bring in these stairs, which are going to do this. Really? Okay, well, we're just going to have to roll with it. Oh, would you look at that? I forgot to craft some dark prismarine for the middle of the thing. I don't- I don't know how I function in day-to-day -day society. From the outside, you can see into here, and you can see that this is just a big fraudulent what? monument. So let's just patch that up real quick. And now, you cannot see into it. <laughs> Now let's move on to the ender farm and also the entrance and exit to this place in general. So, how are we gonna do it? Well, that's where... That's where this platform comes into play. And instead of telling you, I'll just show you. Okay, now I've got the tunnel somewhat dug out and we're gonna put slabs along the top here so that these idiots cannot spawn. I didn't even look at you, what? I think what I'm actually gonna do is dig one tunnel on each side of this dirt block, one going up and one going down. Now we build up some water pillars here. Now obviously it's gonna be glass, so when we're in there we can look out. Whoa, whoa, I, that's not my fault, dude. Oh my dad. All right, so this is where our little bubble is gonna be right here. All right, we've got our room and our home base. So when we spawn in the end, we come through the tunnel, we come up here. This is where the endermen fall, we can farm them, and then we'll have like a little enchanting setup over here. Pretty cool, right? I think, maybe. So I'm at Y level 76, and I need to add on around 40 to that. Not too tall, because then it would go above water level. And I also need enough space for the old endermites to fit in there. <laughs> Wait, they can't spawn on glass. Oh, brother. Ah, uh, wow. So I guess for the replacement block on the bottom that they can actually spawn on, we shall go for some... I, do I go for black or dark gray? I think I go for black. Wait, 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 no. Dude. I'm losing my mind. I made the roof out of wool. This is what happens when you play too much Minecraft, guys. I really, I really don't quite know how I've let this happen. Ah, we've got our first Enderman spawning. That's a good sign. However, I still need to do the rest of the thing. Now I've finished the room and we've got plenty of Endermen in here. Need to make a bridge all the way to my old farm so I can transport this guy. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to make that many at all. <laughs> at least I know I'll have enough, I guess. And this whole bridge should be spawn-proof, so we won't run into any endermen. Let's see how this goes. Ow, stop it. Stop it immediately. I would love to put on my chest plate for damage reduction, but okay. Well, that's not going to work then, is it? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. 
See you later, Enderman. <laughs> Where are you gonna spawn now? Okay, so everything is spawn-proofed. Now let's take a look. What? <laughs> that is phenomenal. Now it's time to clean up these dirt pillars. Epic transition, right? Epic tra- it was- it was- Anyway, we've got more stuff to do. First thing being, we need to transfer this setup into the new farm. And get rid of all of this. The space feels really empty. I feel like I'm just staring into nothingness, which I am. Next up, I'm going to try and replicate some statues that I made in creative. So this should be interesting. And this is what it looks like to oxidize copper for my second build. <laughs> looks like my cave has some kind of disease or something. So we've got the two massive titans battling it out, as I'm sure you can tell, it's the Enderman because this is the end realm and it's been transformed into the ocean, which is kind of that guy's fault, I guess you could say. I don't know. The build I want to do next, dude, that looks so cool from a distance even. There's just these two massive stats. Anyway, the build I'm doing next is along this line here. I'm going to do a line of those underwater ocean ruins, some cold, some warm. And then we're actually going to get some drowned guys in here and we're going to trap them in there and they're going to be stuck forever. Wow, dude, I thought I had heaps of moss blocks. What happened? Just building some random looking ones. They don't have to be vanilla replicas or anything. Now, how do I get this guy in here is the question. I think I'm just going to build the other ones first. There's a third one done. They're actually, they look like they're progressively getting bigger. So I need to make a smaller one of the sand ones over here. All right, so we've got four of them done, all ready to trap a drowned guy. Before I bring them in though, let me just place some tall grass and kelp. Now see, that makes the place look a lot better, doesn't it? That's why I'm gonna do it for the whole thing. Anyway, now to trap the drowned. So I have one name tag and I'm gonna need Four. 14 a pop. What is wrong? We're going to call all of these guys uh, Transformers because they're transforming from zombies to ground. Anyway, now I need to find a zombie and bring it through here. And... <gasps> oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> Do this and... See you, chump. Okay, now, are you gonna follow me through here? There we go. And drowned mode. Okay, perfect. Now, can you follow me up here, please? Come on, you've almost got it. You've almost got it. Come on. There it is. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Boom and boom. Get this guy in his station as well. And kablawi, you're trapped. Yep, just follow me to your lifelong imprisonment. Number three and number four. This is one of those things I think will look a lot better once we've got most of the build filled out. Anyway, I've been procrastinating finishing these pillars off. Uh, the, I need to put stuff at the bottom, which I'm gonna do. And it's gonna look like this. There's three of them done. Four, five, six, seven of them. Eight, nine, and last but not least, ten. Whew. So there we go, obsidian pillars looking much better now. And now to bone meal the whole ocean floor, which I think is looking pretty cool. All right, here we are. Now this, <laughs> it looks a little funky, but it does make the whole place look a lot more alive. Oh, I forgot the kelp. I'm not gonna stack it or anything like that. It's just gonna grow on its own whilst we put the coral in, which is next on the agenda. And we're going to add some fish, of course. Butterfly fish, red ch 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 kitchlid. Oh no, that doesn't look right. Cichlid. Oh my. Anyway, I think I'm going to let these guys out first before I start doing everything. Ow, ow. The fish are out and this place already feels 10 times better. Now for some coral. There we go, not looking too bad. I must admit, I do feel a lot like less lonely with these fish swimming around here. I like this. <laughs> uh, I'm going insane. Oh, 
I'll be honest, I'm just kind of placing blocks randomly and I think it's kind of working. Time for some coral fans and whatever else the other stuff is called. And the pickles, of course, randomized, you know, one here, two here, three, four, five. Uh, can you do five? No. Nope. Put some on top of the uh, coral as well. Why not? Oh, you need a waterlog of that. And there is all the coral done. Now this place is looking even better. I mean, this is... This project is sick, dude. Look at what I've built. You know what? This actually doesn't look right. I'm gonna change the bottom glass. And voila, that looks a lot nicer. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna transform this. And this looks a lot nicer too. So, now what? Oh, the dragon. Oh my, I forgot to fix the, oh. <laughs>